Hello everyone, welcome back to the Silicon Nubian YouTube channel where we're all about things tech. Today we're going to have a quick look around what I would consider to be the granddaddy of live Linux CDs or DVDs, Nopix version 8.1. If you've been around the Linux world for a while, Nopix should be uh, something, a name you're familiar with. Nopix, in my opinion, basically popularized the whole notion of the live CD or live DVD, allowing people to kick the tires, as it were, before they would actually make a purchase. Uh, Linux mostly being mostly being free, but basically you can kick the tires, check it out, and if you like what you see, uh, without affecting your file system on your PC, then you could uh, dedicate that whole PC and install Linux uh, in a more per permanent fashion. Also, the live disk was great for system rescue tasks as well as doing things like for example uh, using uh, let's say uh, you're at someone's house and you want to use their PC but you don't trust their security you can boot up with a live disk and do your banking or whatnot <clears throat> and then log out um, so we have Nopix version 8.1 Nopix as usual is Debian based uh, but they, they pick and choose their software from the different Debian repositories for example uh, the usual picks are included from Debian Stretch, which is the stable branch, Testing, which is Buster, and Unstable SID for newer graphics drivers or desktop software packages. So they pick and choose where they get their files or applications from. Both 32-bit and 64-bit versions are available, so both old and new computers are supported. Uh, interestingly, BQ, BFQ, also known as Budget Fair Q Scheduler, is now included in the standard kernel with the multi-pass scheduler automatically activated for slower disks so that's interesting uh, LXDE is the default graphic user interface uh, and PC Man FM as we'll see is the default file manager uh, you also have the option to run GNOME 3.24 and that's out of the box so let's get started on the desktop you can see it's quite plain uh, we have one folder which is the Nopix folder which brings up the uh, File Manager, PCMan FM, as I mentioned before, version 1.2.5, very capable file manager. We've seen this many times before. Right clicking anywhere on the desktop will bring up your desktop preferences and a few other choices, of course. Create new, create a folder, HTML file, and whatnot. Just the usual stuff we'd seen in uh, many other Linux distributions, in particular running with LXDE. <clears throat> so here we have the desktop icons, we have advanced. We have the appearance, we have the background, and it's we can go into things like that. We can choose stretch or fill monitor. Well, you know the drill, how it works. On the bottom right, we have the area for different things. We have uh, no batteries. This is will show you the charge. This is the screens. Here we have the clock and the calendar uh, and the volume. Right clicking, of course, will bring up. Uh, all kind of other options that we didn't have before and here we have the network connections icon and we can make changes in there as well so the ALSA mixer uh, here we have it okay that's coming up right clicking anywhere on the taskbar brings up taskbar list add and move panels and whatnot we've seen that before panel settings we can uh, arrange this and really modify it the way we like it um, here we have screen layout editor. Uh, this should be called in other distributions. They would call this uh, screen settings or monitor settings or display settings. Here it's called screen layout editor. And what we can do is we can notice that we're using VGA one to change the resolutions. For example, you have to go into outputs VGA one and make sure it's the active one in primary. And then you select the resolution for that particular that particular monitor that you're on. So not as straightforward as some others, but uh, it's okay. And and then you have to click check on the checkbox, I should say, and that would uh, apply whatever settings. And we could load settings, we can save layouts and whatnot. Uh, here we are, AR and R screen layout editor. Haven't used this before. Uh, interesting tool a lot more uh, versatile than just you know your regular screen setting and here we have another mixer AU mix and you're gonna see this 
uh, as one of the things that, that you're going to find about Nopix is that there are many tools doing the same thing. So there we have that. We have LibreOffice, which is included by default, which I always like to see. So here we have LibreOffice, and we can check the version right away. It's version 5.4.1.2.0 plus. So pretty up to date. Very good. Uh, of course, we talked about the file manager. Here we have the LX terminal. Let's see what kernel is running. And I believe we already mentioned the kernel. The kernel by default that it boots with is, hmm, let's just check it out. And it's the 4.12.7-64 bit preamp kernel. So that's uh, micro Nopics, Linux micro Nopics. I don't believe they use a vanilla kernel. Uh, somebody can maybe correct me on that, but I think Nopics makes some changes. I'm not sure if they use just the basic. We have um, Chromium web browser as the uh, default installed browser. So that brings us to the main screen. So let's click on the program menu. And here's where things get really interesting. One of the claim to fame of Nopix is that they throw in the kitchen sink. And as we're going to see, they don't play around with that. So here we have the program menu. And right clicking, we can't get to the program menu just as I, I'd like to show you that as in some distributions, but it's okay. So here's the logout. We won't do that, of course. I just want to show you, we can run, which will bring up a command to execute. And let's start looking at the preferences. Here we go. So we have ADSL PPU, POE, Compiz, Compiz Look and Feel, Desktop Session, Desktop Preferences, Gparted, Ice-T. If, you, if you're if you looking at this, and this is the first uh, submenu we've seen, look at all that's available. It's quite a bit. Network, Network Connections. QT4, it's it's tons. Synaptic Package Manager, which is interesting. Uh, I would I would have changed this instead of putting Synaptic Package Manager under Preferences. I probably would have put it under System Tools, but that's just my uh, how I like my stuff organized. So we see we have a lot of things here, and this is just the first uh, sub menu. Um, being Debian, of course, Synaptic Package, Ma Synaptic Package Manager is the uh, program or package installer and uninstaller um, of choice. Let's move up. We have Wine that's installed, so we can run some Windows programs on the desktop. Universal Access, which usually in other distributions might have one or two entries here. We have over seven entries, so that's pretty good. System Tools, look at this. It starts to get crazy, folks. Even though PC Man FM is there, we also have Dolphin. So we have many tools, overlapping tools, or doing the same thing. Uh, HTOP, of course, we can see here what we're the system usage, and uh, we can kill processes via their PID or whatnot whenever we want and see how the system, what the, <clears throat> what's using up system resources. Uh, we have so much stuff here. I'm not even going to go through all of them. This video would be uh, an hour or two long. K3B, K-Disk Free, GUI Manager, KFRB. So we have select software from pretty much every um, corner of Linux. Uh, networking tools, report by root terminal, system monitor, and here we have system information. Here we have the summary, uh, operating system, Linux kernel, and a lot of different things in here. Color modules, kernel module boot. Let's get back to that. I mean, it's it's mind-boggling the amount of stuff that's included. Uh, here with the the system monitor. And we can see we're using 276.5 megabytes of RAM, which is quite low usage, actually, extremely low. So out of the box, it's pretty svelte, considering it has all the software, but of course, that software is not going to add to system uh, resource usage unless it's running. Continue with the system tools, KDE Wallet, LX Terminal, Midnight Commanders included, 
yet another file manager, but this is NCurses based. Um, command line based, system monitor, another task manager, system profiler and benchmark, uh, terminator, another term, multiple terminators and one multiple terminals in one window. Uh, fast forensic imager, UX term virtual box is there, X term. Oh, now let's move to the next one, sound and video. So do you see uh, the theme of Nopix? Basically throw everything at you. And uh, there's nothing here. I should say there's nothing missing, nothing missing. Uh, not that there's nothing here. We have a downloader, Amarok, which is one that used to be one of my favorites, that in Clementine, Alsa Mixer, Juke, GUI, Audacity, Brazero on the burning software. Uh, known player, oh, it goes on and on. Caffeine is here. KDN, KDE, NLive, Kino, KMix, you name it, VLC player, Ripper is here, Record My Desktop is here, OpenShot Video Editor, MPV Media Player, let's go to Programming, again, tons, I'm not even going to go through here, there's just so much, Office, LibreOffice is here, but there's much more than just LibreOffice, they have Numeric, Home Bank, Contact, Mutt, you know, one good thing about Nopix, and I'll tell you about it at the end. Actually, I'll tell you right now. One great thing about Nopix is it, it packs so much software. And by the way, the way that it's a compressed file system, that's why they can fit so much in a very reasonably sized download is they run, they're very good at running everything on a, in a compressed file system. You would never know what's going on in the background. Here we have the Nopix menu let's go to the Nopix sub menu choose start we choose restart plan virus export uh, GPRS connection install components so you can actually install certain software audacity flash plugin non free but I believe audacity, audacity was already in, installed I guess that's to update it right so open shot it knows what's been what's already installed and it will just do the update so this is some of the software uh, here in free, okay, it says the software components offered here are free and publicly available on the internet, but because of patents or vendor specific license restrictions conforming to our country's laws, it may be not be possible to distribute them as part of a free uh, new Linux, GNU Linux distribution. So that's another place you can get stuff done. Um, IP traffic analyzer, Nopix hard drive install. Uh, Nopix firewall, printer configuration, Samba server, oh my gosh, it goes on and on. Nopix terminal server, set password for root, start SSH server, and Tor proxy, even a Tor proxy. Okay, folks, if you're still with me, let's keep going. Internet, look at this. I'm not going to go through all of them. We can see that Firefox and Chrome are included. I'm sure those aren't the only two. Um, <laughs> uh, web browsers included conqueror here we are another one it goes on and on and on and on chat program for gaming putty uh, thunderbird tor browser transmission of course graphics uh, probably one of the smaller menus but still very well appointed blender is here dia which is uh, edit your diagrams free cad gps drive gwenview ocular i'm just skipping through a bunch of them uh, games, look at this. Uh, so much that you can have to scroll. Do you see that? Wow. Not even going to go there. Education, we have tons of education programs, accessories. Accessories is nuts. Uh, file manager, I'm going to go just quickly. Emacs, Leafpad, text editor. There's about six or seven different text editors here at least. Um, X archiver and whatnot. So, uh, in terms of performance, I don't even think it's Nopix has to be seen in that regard. Uh, I can't view Nopix like I view other Linux distributions that I've I've looked at, reviewed, and just uh, took in, taken a look at, kicked the tires. Nopix is like one of those old Swiss Army knives that have tools that do everything. It can do everything, and I mean everything. Uh, one of the best things that I like Nopix for is it allows you to test drive software that you would not otherwise hear about or even use and maybe find something that is a gem. 
Sonopix is a showcase, uh, basically, of Linux software. As a rescue disk or as a disk to boot onto a system and get stuff done, technical or otherwise, there are very few, if any, Linux distributions that I know of that can beat Nopix with the sheer width and breadth of the software that's um, available for you on boot up. Um, would I install Nopix as a daily driver? No, I like my systems a lot leaner with respect to software, a lot cleaner. And uh, not to take anything away from Nopix, it has its place most definitely. I would definitely keep it on a flash drive so you can boot into a system. Or if you have an older system, even a DVD or a CD uh, for occasional use when you want to get some stuff done, you want to check out some software. And it's always fun to download the latest Nopix release, boot it up and see what they've included, which kitchen sink they put in this time. Uh, performance is quite good. Uh, again, we're running LXDE and we are also uh, Debian based. The performance is excellent. Uh, there's no issues with that at all. You can see things launch really quick. Uh, no problem with that at all. I did have some issues updating the system. As you see there, there's one. And when you include so much software, so much, I some may work. There might be once or twice you might find something that doesn't work correctly. But that being said, uh, my experience with Nopix has been um, pretty good. Uh, it's something that I definitely think anybody who calls himself a technician should have in their toolbox. And um, if you just want to see you know, what's available in the Linux world with respect to open source and free software, this is the showcase for it. So I think everybody out there who's into Linux or even operating systems in general can find some use out of Nopix. Most definitely, I think so. Yet another file manager. Wow. Uh, it just never stops. This is files, another file manager. Files, 3.26.0. Uh, I've, I've many times booted up Nopix and found software that I wanted to put on my daily driver Presently, I run Manjaro. Uh, if you followed my in, uh, my uh, this tech channel, I should say, and my reviews, you've known I've mentioned a few times that Manjaro is my is my daily driver. Uh, that being said, there have been a few times that I found software that I really liked via my experience with Nopix, and I, I, I be, it became a mainstay on my daily driver. So that's something definitely that you want to think about. So that's about it uh, for this uh, quick look at Nopix version 8.1. Uh, it's a keeper, but not for the same reasons that I would say a basic or a more generalized desktop uh, Linux distribution. It has a lot of good things about it. Uh, definitely, it's a, it's a showcase. It's a showcase of software, and on top of that, it's very useful. It's quite overwhelming at times, but I don't think it's uh, overwhelming for somebody who really knows how to appreciate what it offers, and it offers a lot. That being said, I just want to say thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up if you like it. Uh, please comment. Please subscribe. Tell others about uh, the site, uh, the, the channel. And thanks for watching. You can check us out. For those who like to build PCs, modify PCs, and like to discuss uh, PC hardware in a uh, non-stressful, uh, zealot and fanboy free environment. Check us out at PC Construction Zone, our, our Facebook group. For those who like general uh, tech uh, discussion and uh, information, we have um, PC technology and computer enthusiasts, technology PC enthusiasts, and we have our more commercial offering at the Silicon Nubian. Check the links below. Thanks for watching and see you next video.